Hi, today we're going to look at Lucid Chart for doing some mind mapping. So when you go to lucidchart.com, um, the first thing that you need to do is create a free account. After you create your free account and you log in, this is what you are going to see. Now, down in the very bottom, um, you can see that you can add it to your Google Apps. So what that means is that if you are a Google Apps user, like the Fond du Lac School District is, um, you can click there and your Lucid Charts will save into your Google Drive so you don't have to go out to a different place. Um, that's just one little tidbit of information for you. So now what we want to do is we want to create our first mind map. So we're going to click on Create. And we can choose to create a new document or a new folder. We're going to create a new document. And when we create a new document, we're going to get um, some templates that we can choose or we can do a blank flowchart. I want to choose a blank flowchart here. And then I'm going to enter my title. <clears throat> and you're going to see that this is what Lucid Chart looks like. Now, along the left-hand side, you can see you can add text. You can add a block of text, you can add a note, or you could add a hotspot. So if I want to add a note to my page, I just grab it and I drag. The same goes with any of these shapes. So if I want to grab this, I just drag it over. And then once you drag things over, you can also link some of these. Um, and you'll get a little pop-up that appears where you can link it to a different page. You could have an external link or to an email. Um, and then you can add those actions. If you want to increase or decrease the size, just grab at the corners. And then you can also rotate using this button right here. Um, the next thing that we can do is you can add in arrows. And then rotate those as well. And stretch them out to point people in the correct direction. Um, along the top here, you're going to see what looks like a pretty standard formatting toolbar of anything and so if you want to change font size, text, alignment, you can do that right up here. Over on the right hand side you're going to see that you have a navigator so you can zoom in and out. Um, you can include graphics so you can change the color so if I want that to be a green color I can do that um, and change the gradients and the opacity of it. You can also do themes or colors here. Um, next button is metrics. So if you need to change the orientation or flip something, so if I want that to be flip, um, you can play around with it and it'll flip my arrow. I can um, choose my different text indentations or spacings over on the right side. I can choose my page layout. So if I wanted it to be a portrait landscape, so up and down versus landscape where it's sideways, and my paper size. I can do that. And then master pages, if you're interested in having a master page, most people are not going to use this. Um, and then a history. So if you pay for it, you can have a revision history of when things are done. Up at the top, you're going to see you have your regular file menu um, where you can name your document, you can export it to Google Drive, you could download it, um, and you can choose more shapes and um, play around with your preferences and your Google Drive preferences. Your edit um, menu is going to have normal edit menu things, copy, paste, undo, redo, um, and your spell check is there as well. View, you can zoom in and out. Page, you can add more pages or duplicate pages. If you want to use the arrange feature where you can um, put shapes on top of other shapes or text on top of shapes, you can use this um, menu to bring one item to the front and the other one to the back so that it, they are over the top of each other and you can also group those things. So what that means is if I wanted these two together I can choose both of those and I'm going to go to arrange and group and now when I move them those two pieces move together. Under your insert menu, you can choose page number, count, and date and time if you have more than one page. And then share is the nice feature because you can collaborate on this together. You can invite somebody else to collaborate. You can publish it um, where you can share it out to um, your teachers or other students. And you can also share it on social media.